Hello, welcome to Topper Machine. I'm Josh Topper, and today is our follow-up video on what the heck is it? <laughs> uh, this was the job I did Saturday's video um, and the little project for my brother-in-law. And so I had my days mixed up. The graduation party wasn't this past weekend. It was the, it's next weekend. So it's coming up. He'll get it then. But I asked him, texted him and asked him what it was for. And he sent me a couple pictures. I'll try to put them up here. And what it is, is a adapter to go on the firewall of his race car. So with the angle of the car, the way it's set up, he needed this adapter. Uh, it goes one way or another here. And it'll pitch the brake master cylinder so it's more flat. So that's what it is. He said he was hoping to do it out of 70, 75, but um, he bought the material. He said he paid 10 bucks for this piece and it was 100 bucks for the 70, 75. Um, I told him, I says, why don't you ask me first? I have stuff on hand. I probably had a chunk of 6061, but this works out because he said, you know, he's probably gonna have to add 300 pounds or so to the front end of the car to keep the front end down when he's racing. So on the, on the you know, it's a drag car. When he starts out, that thing's got so much power. She's gonna pop wheelies. It's a twin turbo. Um, it's an old Thunderbird. So pretty cool car. Um, I don't have any pictures of the car, but that's what it is. And I also had a lot of really good comments and questions about the clamp. Who made it, where it came from. So this particular clamp, these two that I have, were a gift from a viewer. And I'd never used these things before. These were made by JNS Tool Company in Livingston, New Jersey. Carlane makes these. Um, there's a few other manufacturers, but Carlane's one of them I've seen. I think Tico makes them also. They are not cheap. They are uh, actually a very expensive little little uh, clamp, but they're really nice in the fact they bolt flat to the table, and then you tighten the screw and push it over. They're very similar to the clamps that I made for the Shaper a few years back, and there's a video of those, and that's these. And I use these on the Shaper and the boring mill for pushing the parts over, um, for uh, positioning and these just drop into the t-slot and then I've got them at an angle and when They're pushed up against a part. They actually have enough give in the t-slot. They pin pitch back just a little bit They're still pushing down as you tighten the bolt, but these work great I use them on the boring mill and the shaper the planer uh, Yeah, the planer the planer mill um, I use these actually a lot of times on bar stock long bars i'll put multiples of these down the table and then on either side of the bar and then i'll use it to indicate center and get that bar absolutely perfect for doing a long keyway or drilling or whatever so very similar to this but these these clamps are are awesome um, the only problem with this one is it's so tall they do make other ones that have a step just back here and then it's just a smaller bit that grips very similar to the Mighty Bites too. Um, those are good clamps I've heard, but I'm definitely gonna be trying to get a few more of these things. So like I said, these were made by JNS Tool Company Incorporated, Livingston, New Jersey. Probably long gone, no longer in business, but Carlane makes them. I, I'm pretty sure I saw Tico had some, um, TMX might. Um, so there's a lot of sources. In fact, I know that KBC Tools does sell them. So check out KBC Tools if you're looking for some um, they have some very similar ones to these. Um, they are not cheap. They're a rather expensive clamp, and they are really awesome. I really like them. So something to add to your arsenal if you're going to be doing weird stuff like I do. So again, this was just the quick Wednesday follow-up, just a simple video explaining the part. Um, now that I know what it is, uh, and the, the questions and comments that I got, a lot of really good questions, a lot of really good comments, a lot of really stupid comments. Um, you know, happens, is what it is. But guys, keep the good comments and questions coming. I'll do my best to do a follow-up every Wednesday to answer questions. Um, we got a lot of cool stuff coming, a lot of cool jobs I'm working on. I, my workload is still very excessive right now, and I'm doing my best to try to get these videos filmed and keep the work going. Um, editing is going to be the problem, and I'm working through that as I go. Um, so I'm going to Definitely trying to have a video for Saturday. I have a couple videos ahead filmed, but 
trying to get that time to do the videos. Um, summer is my busy time. That's my, my happy time. <laughs> um, we do a lot of outside stuff. This is, this is the time of year that my wife and I like to do a lot of stuff. Gardening, I've got the sawmill, which I haven't even started this year. I've been so busy. Um, you know, the tractors, I got a tractor show coming up here in a couple weeks. The Hungry Hollow show is the end of June. If you're in the area, Rice Lake, Wisconsin, uh, June 29th and 30th, um, the Hungry Hollow steam and gas engine show is going on. I will be there again with my Farmall F12 and water wagon. We'll be uh, out in the fields plowing with steam engines. So I'll be out there servicing the engines as they're plowing. So that's a pretty cool show. So if you get a chance, check that out. I will try to film some of that. We'll see how it goes. Um, but lots of cool stuff coming. So until next time, get out in your shop and get it done right the first time.